Changla, pronounced T.S. Allah, also called Sharchop, is a Sino-Tibetan language of the Bodish branch closely related to the Tibetic languages and much of its vocabulary derives from classical Tibetan. Changla is primarily spoken in eastern Bhutan and acts as a lingua franca in the country particularly among Sharchop Changla communities. It is also spoken in Arunachal Pradesh, India, and Tibet. Changla is the principal pre-Tibetan, pre zonka language of Bhutan. Classification Changla is frequently assumed to be close to the Tibetic languages. Bradley 2002, includes in among the East Bodish languages. Van Driem 2011, however, leaves it in classified within Sino-Tibetan, pending further research. BODT 2012-188-189 classifies Changla as a Bodish language, but notes that Changla, like East Bodish, is related to, but not directly descended, from classical Tibetan. Varieties Changla is a dialect cluster consisting of a few mutually unintelligible language varieties, including Gerber 2018, Trashigang, Dungsam, Durang, Vyokapaka, Vyoka. The Changla variety of Trashigang town is used as a lingua franca. Dungsam is conservative, while Durang and Vyokapaka are divergent. Number of speakers and status of the language Changla is primarily spoken in East and Southeast Bhutan, especially in the Trashigang district. The language is referred to as Sharshokka, meaning the people in the East, in Zonka, the national language Bhutan. It is also spoken in the Arunachal Pradesh of India, where it is sometimes referred to as Central Manpa, and in Southeast Tibet, where it is referred to as Kangluo, Anvik 2010-4-6. There are approximately 170,000 speakers of Changla, living in Bhutan, 157,000, India, 11,000, and Tibet, 7,000. It is not reported to be endangered in any way, as there are still many children learning it as their first language. Indeed, it is often described as being the majority language of eastern Bhutan, where it functions as something of a lingua franca. Anvik 2010-4 reports that most Bhutanese have at least some rudimentary knowledge of Changla. In addition, it's common for Western Bhutanese to learn some Changla through classmates in the school system. Yang Gilchen, P. C. Despite its predominance in eastern Bhutan, Changla is described by Anvik 2010-4 as an unwritten language, meaning that it is not in any country standardized by governing fiat, taught in the schools, recognized as an official language, or even given status as a minority language. However, Ethnologue reports that 47% of L1 speakers are literate, mainly using Uchen Tiptian script. Though there are no official publications in Changla, the language is used in radio and television broadcasts, it remains undetermined what kind of orthography is used for writing copy for those broadcasts. Yang Gilchen, P. C. The official national language of Bhutan is Zonka, which is derived from the Tibetan spoken by Lama Shabdrung and his followers, who left Tibet to found the nation of Bhutan in the 1600s. Changla, however, is one of Bhutan's many indigenous languages, and is the most widely spoken of the indigenous Sino-Tibetan languages. Changla is found scattered throughout eastern Himalayan ridges as well as the southern regions, spoken by around 175,000 people. Most of the Changla populace live in eastern Bhutan, Trashigang, eastern Pemigatchal, Sandrup Jonkar, eastern Mongar, and Trashiyangtse districts, where they formed an overwhelming major ethnic group of the country probably accounting for 25-30% to of the total population. Scattered Changla speakers can also be found in neighboring countries with different names. In the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh, they are called Kalakdang Manpa and are lexically distinct, whereas about 7,000 Changla-speaking people also live in Pemako, Bohm and Medog County, in southeastern Tibet, China and India. There are about 8,000 Kalakdang Manpa speakers in Kalakdang, Balimu, and Tomko villages, Kalakdang Administrative Center, West Kameng District, Arunachal Pradesh, India, Ethnologue. 
Good number of about 1,000 to 15,000 Sangla speakers are also live in Tutting Town, Kopu, Bona, Jeling, Bishing along the Sangpo, Siang, River and Nyaring, Payangdam, Nyakong, Yurtong, Mankota, Tashigung, Singa along the Yangsangchu River, Upper Siang District, Arunachal Pradesh, India. The distantly related Aleka language of the Black Mountains, also called Monpa and predating Zonka, belongs to the Sino-Tibetan East Bodish languages. Single quote. Aleka is most closely related to the Bumthang language, both are East Bodish languages. Changla and related languages form a sister branch not to the East Bodish group, but to its parent Bodish branch. Thus the ambiguous term. Monpa. Risks separating languages that should be grouped together, while grouping languages together that are quite separate. Writing system Changla is traditionally an unwritten language and has no official status in any country. When written by native speakers, it is most often rendered in Tibetan script, however grammarians have devised a romanized transcription system. Phonology Below appears a table of Changla consonants according to Anvik 2010. Non-native phonemes, in parentheses, are contrasted only marginally with native sounds. Is often nativized to L, D, Z, becomes Z, and T becomes Y. The above table generally describes onset consonants. Consonant clusters in the onset position are limited to consonant plus R, with the exception of the syllable P, used on only two contexts. Intervocalic positioning of aspirated onsets, p, t, and k, results in lenition to th, theta, and x, or h, respectively, with some exceptions. Syllable final consonants are limited to p, t, k, s, per meter, n, and th. Changla vowels appear in the chart below, following Anvik 2010. Vowels in parentheses appear in non-native words inherited from Tibetan, Zonka, and the latter's archaic liturgical form, choke. Non-native front-rounded vowels may be nativized as front-unrounded vowels. Vowel clusters native to the Changla lexicon are i and o, and in derived contexts, oi and ui also appear, e.g. a verbal ending, bu i take imp. In these native contexts, final i and u are pronounced as if they were y or with, respectively. In loanwords, u and eu rarely appear and tend to be realized as iwu and ewu, respectively. Tone Most dialects of Changla do not make lexical distinctions according to tone, however, the language overall may be in the process of tonogenesis. Some dialects, such as those of Central Monpa and Padma Bkod, have replaced voiceless voiced contrasts with a high low tone distinction, respectively. Grammar Changla grammar features nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and verbs. Word order is generally subject object verb. SOV. Its morphology is generally agglutinative, though most unmarked Changla lexicon comprises one or two syllables. Nouns are arranged into either head first or head last noun phrases. Demonstratives, relative clauses, and genitive phrases precede nouns, whereas markers for definiteness, number, topic, focus, case, and other particles follow the noun, while adjectives comprise a lexically distinct category in their own right. Some adjectival words are grammatically nouns. This dichotomy is complicated by equally common relative clauses that function as adjectives. For example, dukpu waksa means the badly poor child, and waksadukpu means the child who is badly poor. Some combinations are strictly noun adjective, however, Changla is a pro-drop language, with two otherwise notable features. First, multivalent verbs drop objects even though they are not recoverable from context, through which verbs reduce their valency, i.e. become intransitive. In other situations where the argument is topically important, and where confusion is impossible, a zero and personal pronoun is used otherwise personal pronouns are extensively used they appear below when pronouns are followed by numbers plurals is not used eg ro nightsing the two of them noun cases include absolutive nominative agentive ergative instrumental he genitive ga ablative guy and dative locative ga 
These suffices undergo devoicing in certain circumstances. Verbs are generally transitive or intransitive. The transitivity of some verbs corresponds to lexical distinctions. Yekpa means to speak in a transitive sense, but to be called in an intransitive sense. Similarly, lekpi means to lick in a transitive sense, but to be licked in an intransitive sense, with the agent suppressed. The copula, which has many forms, is used extensively in marking Changla verbs. Verbs are marked differently depending on whether they are predicate, finite, or relative or participial, non-finite. Only finite verbs take personal conjugations, while various non-finite forms take different suffices. Adverbs appear as suffices on non-final and participial verb forms. Negation of adjectives, nouns, and verbs take different forms. Sentence final particles include interrogatory and non-declarative mood markers. Dialects Changla dialects represent a continuum centered around the town of Trashigang, whose dialect is considered by Changla speakers to be the prestige dialect. Differences between dialects do not prevent mutual intelligibility, and many loanwords have come through classical Tibetan, Choke. In Arunachal Pradesh, Changla is spoken in the Durang area of West Kamang. The dialect there, called Central Monpa, is spoken by some 6,000 people. More speakers of Changla dialects live in Kathmandu, Darjeeling and Assam. In Bhutan, Changla is virtually identical to Kangluo, Chinese, Kang Luo of southeastern Tibet, also called Motuo, Bom, Monpa. The Bom County region of Tibet, formerly known as Padma Bkod or Pemako, contains remnants of these Changla communities separated by hundreds of miles. See also Languages of Bhutan Languages of China Notes References Further reading Egli Raduner, S. 1987. Handbook of the Charchakpa Lope Changla. Tempu, Helvetas. Hoshi, Michio. 1987. A Sharchak Vocabulary, a Language Spoken in Eastern Bhutan, Integral Study on the Ecology, Languages and Cultures of Tibet and Himalayas, 8. Tokyo, Tokyo Research Institute for Languages and Cultures of Asia and Africa, Tokyo University of Foreign Studies, Yak. Andvik, Eric, 1993. Changla Verb Inflections, a Preliminary Sketch. Linguistics of the Tibeto-Burman Area, 16.1, 75-136. Andvik, Eric. 1999. Changla Grammar, a Dissertation. University of Oregon. Andvik, Eric. 2003. Graham Thurgood, Randy J. Lapola, eds. Changla, The Sino-Tibetan Languages. London and New York City, Routledge, 439-455. Andvik, Eric. 2004. Anju Saxena, ed. Du, as Subordinator in Changla. Himalayan Languages Past and Present. Trends in Linguistics, Studies and Monographs. Berlin and New York City. Mouton de Gruyter, 149, 311-40. Andvik, Eric, 2012. Gwendolyn Heislip, Stephen Mori, Mark Post, eds. Changla Orthography. Northeast Indian Linguistics. New Delhi, Cambridge University Press India Private. Limited 4. External links. Changla language page wiki created by linguistic field methods course at UMass Amherst